Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. And today in this video, we're going to review this guy. This is the Raspberry Pi 400. And today in this video, we're going to try to answer the question: Is this better than the Pi 4? So the Raspberry Pi 400 is the latest product from Raspberry Pi and this is a completely different take. This is a new form factor that they have come up to, uh, compared to the Raspberry Pi 4. Well, like this is the Raspberry Pi that we're used to, the way it looks and everything of that sort. Coming from that to this is a completely different step and something that I don't think anyone expected Raspberry Pi to do. Like being such a form factor, the question arises, is it any better than the Pi 4? And the simple answer to that question is, um, it's not trying to be. So the main difference that the 400 has over the 4 is the entire form factor. The build is different, the way it looks is different, the way it operates is the same, but everything else about it is different and it's new and it's very refreshing. Well, you see, the Raspberry Pi 400 is the Raspberry Pi 4, but inside this housing of a keyboard. Well, coming to the build quality of the device, the build quality of this Raspberry Pi 400 is solid. It's made up of entirely plastic and there's no metal parts or anything of that sort and except the rubber bottoms that it has. But other than that, the whole thing is solid. Like as, as a keyboard, there has no flex in it. It is sturdy. It doesn't make any sound. It doesn't make any creaks. At the end of the day, it is a keyboard. So how is the typing experience? The typing experience is great. I mean, I don't have any complaints with it. It's not your mechanical keyboard or anything of that sort. It's a great middle ground. It has good travel. It has good uh, sound that it makes after every click. And it's great. This is how it sounds like, by the way. So yeah, the build quality, everything is great. There is no problem with the build quality. Build quality is solid. Well, coming to the port selection, this is where it sort of gets a little interesting. If you compare it to the Raspberry Pi 4, which has four USB ports, which are two USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0s, compared to that, the Raspberry Pi 400 just has three USB ports. Well, the omission of the fourth USB port makes sense because the fourth USB port in the Raspberry Pi 4 must be used for the keyboard. This entire Raspberry Pi is built on the keyboard. So um, you don't need an extra keyboard now. <laughs> so the port for that has been removed and it makes sense. The good thing that they've done is that they've kept the two USB 3.0s and have omitted the USB 2.0 port. The other things that they have omitted are the display port and the camera port. Now. The display port, I understand again, the omission of the display port is understandable. Well, if you look at the Raspberry Pi 4, the display on it sits at like a 90 degree angle, right? And you can't do that sort of a setup on the Raspberry Pi 400 because it's a completely different build and the display won't be able to sit right. They'll have to make another add-on which sits perpendicularly for the display to sit on and everything of that sort. That's a really unnecessary hassle. And I understand why they took the decision to omit the display port. So yeah, and I think 90% of the users anyways use an external display, an external monitor, or they use it on their laptops or your phones. And the next thing that they've omitted is the camera port. Well, the camera sits on the Raspberry Pi 4, as we all know, and it's used for different projects like face recognition and everything of that sort. Well, that port is not present in this Pi. Uh, so if that's a bummer to you and you work on face recognition projects only on your Raspberry Pi, probably this is not the product for you. But if you don't on a regular basis, this is great. Uh, I don't mind the omission of it. Probably Raspberry Pi in the future might come up with like a USB camera or anything of that sort. So those were the ports that the Raspberry Pi 400 does not have when compared to the Raspberry Pi 4. Those were the ports and now let's come to the performance of the Pi 400. Well, the performance of the Pi 400 is the same as the Raspberry Pi 4. There's no enhancement or there's no decrement of performance of sorts. It works great and it works exactly like the Pi 4 works and I don't think anyone will have any problems with it. If you work on the Raspberry Pi frequently, this is great. It works exactly like your Raspberry Pi 4. The good thing about this product is that they have provided us with 4 GB of RAM instead of the 2 or something of that sort 
So the entry level, the Pi 400, which sells everywhere, has 4 GB of RAM inside of it. And as such, there are no performance issues. And if you have worked with the Raspberry Pi 4, you know what this will perform like. It works exactly the same. So if you're someone who wants to start work with Raspberry Pi and you want to buy your first Raspberry Pi product, this is the way to go. This is an easy recommendation in our books. There is nothing that we dislike about it. You also have your 40 pin GPIO, so you can connect your sensors and anything of that sort to it. So if you want to buy this product, the link is down in the description. Check it out on our site. Uh, the stocks are coming soon. It depends on when you're watching this video. They are already might have come. So check the link down below and get yourself a Pi 400. That was it, that was the review. And if you like this review, leave it a like. And if you have any more questions regarding this product, leave it in the comment section below. We'll answer your queries over there. And subscribe for more such content. We're coming up with a lot of projects on the ASP Pi 400. So if you want to see how those work, subscribe for that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.